David, you were very emotional in the cage after a fantastic performance. How are you feeling now? Is the emotion still quite that raw? Yeah, this is like my... I can't compare this with anything. This is my best day in my life, you know. I'm so happy right now. A dream come true. I have worked so hard for this, you know. Since I was a young child, I was sitting home and watching a TV. And imagine, right now, I was standing there in front of 40,000 people here in O2 Arena. So it's like a dream coming true. Yeah. Is, it, is it a little bit bittersweet that it happened to have to be against another Swedish fighter? Is, is there a little bit of bittersweetness there or doesn't it matter? No, the thing is like it's, it's not in my hands, you know, so, uh, but also it's, this is like a part of the game. Uh, but also the beautiful of this sport, it like, is it like after the, the fight, we are, we are friends, we can sit in chair a bear together, so, yeah. Talk about your, sorry, talk about your experience in the uh, Ultimate Fighter house, uh, and then also your experience being alongside him. Yeah, uh, you mean if I, how was experience? Yeah, your experience overall, uh, and then obviously being in there with him, obviously he was your teammate. Yeah, I, it was, I got a lot of experience in the house, uh, we was there like two months, and uh, yeah, it was like everyday training. We did, we trained with Conor McGregor and yeah, all these guys. And uh, yeah, and also earlier in my career, I am from the K1, standing up. So I have like over 50 fights. So people know me also there, there from. And also I have a lot of experience. Like I've been 50 fights in the K1. Yeah, I've been like 18 years old. I was fighting in front of 20,000 people back home in Sweden. So, yeah. This is my home, and my opponent is my guest. <laughs> this was billed as a, a grappler versus striker matchup, but there was a moment in the fight where you took him down. What was the game plan coming into this fight? You know, now like a lot of guys, they, like are training a lot in the game, in the ground game. Uh, so f for me, like uh, I surprise him maybe because he just think I'm gonna stand him, standing up with him. And I, I work with the best team in the world, you know, also training center. And my uh, trainer in the ground is uh, Alan Finfo. He's the ground trainer of Alexander Gustafsson. And so we are the dream team. We're working hard every day. You've competed in a fantastic city in London, but the Stockholm shows that the UFC do put on are always fantastic. How, how much would you like to be to, to, to appear on a card back in Stockholm, back in Sweden? Yeah, uh, it, it, it. You mean yeah, yeah. It it will be awesome. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I hope they come to Sweden, UFC. So it's gonna be like like always. Is there anyone that you'd like to fight next? Hmm, not right now in the moment, but uh, I know Rafael Dos Anjos, all these guys watch me right now. So, uh, yeah, I, ho I hope they are uh, re ready and prepared because 155, David's coming. Do you think you're already at that level right now to fight at the absolute top? In the standing up. I have like more experience than most of the, of the guys. Like I told you, I, I have over 15, sure. 50 fights and like, uh, yeah, I'm like undefeated, like one or two lo losses of 50 <laughs> fights. So I'm third place in the world in Muay Thai. I'm four times with the champion, bus fighter of the whole Scandinavia. So the time is here. Do you think that if you were to fight someone with the elite level BJJ or wrestling, you should be able to handle your own? You know, it's it's uh, yeah. I, uh, it's for me. It's like it's MMA. So I I, I will I will uh, adapt my, my style. Of course, if I met meet a black belt like high level of black yeah. belt guy. Today I fight about black belt guys, and instead of he take me down, I take him down. So uh, yeah, for every fight I adapt. Of course, the ground game a little bit.